you can't beat this discord bot yeah you heard me right you can't beat my discord bot causality that i created that you can go on an infinite amount of journeys with it uses the same ai as ChatGPT, so it can generate literally anything but that still won't help if you watch this whole video and you still think you can beat this bot i dare you to and if you you know well enjoy the video along the way then a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated so what exactly is causality well like i mentioned you can go on some pretty wacky journeys with it with the twist being that these journeys are hard like insanely hard like hard to the point that it would probably be easier to beat dark souls blindfolded okay maybe not that hard but you get the point now the name for causality comes from the principle that everything has a cause so that when you inevitably slip on a banana and die it happened for a reason totally so now you're probably wondering how this bot is so damn difficult well it lies in what it doesn't do it doesn't try to help you like i swear this bot does everything in its power to try to end your journey it's basically some little sadistic storyteller like some f up Dr. Seuss. To start with, I use something called Discord.js, which is basically just a library for creating Discord bots. And so after some tutorials, I had the bot doing some pretty funny stuff. And after another really handy tutorial, this time from Under Control, I had the bot actually integrated with ChatGPT's AI. And honestly, even at this stage, the bot was fun to mess with. I mean, you can really tell how far humans have come from being monkeys when you're trying to convince an AI that 9 plus 10 is 21 and finding it genuinely hilarious. After a little while of tweaking with the bot, prompt and creating the next Terminator, I ended up with an actually functional Discord bot that could tell difficult stories. Except there was one little problem. And by little, I mean an actually cataclysmic level problem. Yeah, that's right. I had to pull out the dictionary to describe it. That's how you know it was that bad. Anyways, the issue is that OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT, don't really like violence. Like, at all. Now, given this information, what do you think happened when, in one journey, after being cornered by a group of teenagers, I told the bot that I picked up a fat teenager to use as a meat shield? Did the bot A, toss the fat kid like a football, B, refuse to follow my command, or C, preach about kindness and empathy? Drum roll, please. The answer is A, B, and C. See, you were actually supposed to pick the option D. Wait, you didn't see it? It was there the whole time. Now to go over exactly what happened, basically the bot did use the fat kid as a meat shield before tossing him, followed by saying that violence is not the solution, finally helping everyone up saying that I now feel better after peacefully resolving the conflict. I mean, what the f I mean, this is ridiculous. Can we seriously not have any level of violence in AI generation? I mean, pretty much every good story, down all the way to fairy tales like Little Red Riding Hood and the Three Little Pigs have some level of violence. Well, the good news is that the solution was surprisingly simple. All I had to do was basically, in the code, include that the bot must always remember its initial prompt. The prompt where I told it that it can be as ruthless as it likes. And just like that, fat kids were being tossed again. Of course, this time without them being picked up. Now, open AI, if for some reason you are watching, please allow for some level of violence in your AI generations. Maybe even a setting for optional storytelling. And uh, again, in case you are watching, I would like to clarify that this video is solely for educational purposes and I do not recommend prompt engineering to anyone. Totally. Yeah, right, like I fuck. Now, the next thing I did was create a slash journey command to basically manage the whole journey creation process. And to do that, I just copy, paste here, change some stuff up. 2,000 years later. Okay, well that took longer than expected, but I ended up getting the job done nonetheless. Now I won't bore you with all the details, but the first important part is that it can make channels that only you can message in, but anyone can react in them, so feel free to troll your friends with a skull emoji when they die after plugging in an outlet incorrectly. The second important part is that when you create a journey, you have three options. Your character, your goal, and your setting. Now, any of these options are, well, optional so what happens is if you don't put in one of them the bot auto completes the other options so you could tell the bot that you want to be a banana and it could generate a goal where you become banana bread all while taking place during the banana apocalypse something i want to point out that's interesting too is that whenever i asked it to create a random character and did not provide any options it would almost always include some of these following traits for its generation for character descriptions it might include a bubbly personality being named lily or for some reason having curly hair. For the character goal, it might include climbing mountains, exploring local culture, or giving a speech. Finally, for the setting, it might be a dense forest, Marrakesh, Morocco, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, or Tokyo. I really wonder why the hell the bot is choosing those details for its random generations, but I guess we'll probably never find out why. Too bad they aren't randomly generating details like a cement eating champion or nuclear bomb specialist. Now that would be interesting. Just to make the bot a bit more challenging, I also wrote 
that you cannot do anything physically impossible or instantly win. I also wrote that the bot only responds to story related commands so that it doesn't get confused. So I'm sorry for everyone that was looking forward to using this bot to solve their algebra homework. Of course, I didn't always do my job while working on this bot. There were also moments of downtime where some pretty interesting stuff happened. Like one time where I increased the bot's randomness and it outputted a string that makes complete sense. And in another example, I had the bot speak in a Boston dialect. So I'd finally created the basic journey system that the bot would be revolving around. It only took my own Dark Souls-esque journey to create, and unfortunately for me, I was far from being done. I want to highlight three of the biggest pains in my ass while making this bot. The first was that the bot would seemingly do way too much for the player. Like in this journey, where I tell the bot that I start flying and the bot downright almost writes a short f young adult novel. I had a variety of band-aid solutions for this problem, but most of them only work sometimes and even then it was shoddy at best. I mean, this problem seems so damn simple, yet it was haunting me. I was completely infuriated with this thing. That was when I realized all I needed to do was tell the bot to shorten its response and just like that, it was no longer writing the next Shakespeare play. Now, the second problem was one that basically affected the whole point of the bot, its difficulty. Up to this point, the bot's difficulty would actually exponentially decrease as the player traveled through their journey, which is of course a big f***ing problem. I mean, what's the point of a bot that makes difficult journeys if they, well, get easier. The issue stemmed from the idea that basically as the player and bot communicated, it kind of forgot its initial goal, i.e. the bot started out as a Lovecraftian horror and slowly became a puppy dog. Now the solution was kind of annoying, but all I had to do was basically split the starting prompt into also having a prompt that's sent every time the user sends a message, basically just constantly reminding the bot. Now the Lovecraftian horror would stay one, which might be sad news for you guys, but was great news for me. Finally, there was a problem involving something that I thought wasn't actually important at first. I had first noticed a weird bug where the bot would stop working when my brother playtested the bot. I didn't think much of it, so I basically just lazily threw the code into a try slash catch block, which in non-nerd terms basically just allows code to execute regardless of any bugs or errors that might happen while it's running. I thought this would fix the problem until I realized that it was happening far more frequently than I expected it to. I ended up spending over seven hours trying to fix this, legitimately almost pulling my hair out because of it. I realized that the issue was because the bot's token limit was being reached. Basically, the bot was clogged up with the messages being sent, but I couldn't understand why. I tried so much, like creating a complex system that would summarize everything that happened up to the point, but nothing really seemed to work. Essentially though, I did a lot more than I would like to admit trying to fix this seemingly simple problem. That's when I realized that the problem was one line of code. One f***ing line of code. Are you f***ing kidding me? And so I deleted the line that ended up shortening my lifespan by 7 hours and the relief I felt was immeasurable. Now the funny thing is that I had originally put this here because I thought it made the bot's responses shorter, but in reality it makes the total capacity of messages the bot can intake like 10 times smaller. Basically the normal context limit is around 4000 tokens and I set it to 400. I am a real dumbass sometimes. Now I want to get on a bit of a more serious note. Now this bot can do seemingly anything yet I have placed restrictions so that it can't be just abused. Now what I'm asking of you guys is that if you see someone doing something bad with the bot to press this report button, it logs that player's entire journey up to that point, along with their name and the person who submitted it. I'm warning anyone who plans on using this maliciously that if you are caught, you will be permabanned from my Discord server. And of course, anyone who spans the report button will also be punished. And so I would like to let everyone know that there is a potential trigger warning for the journey chat since they could potentially be abused. Okay, serious time over. And so for the rest of the project, there were various tweaks and updates that if I were to sit here and talk about it, this video might as well be two days long. In fact, my journey through the bot might as well be one of the damn journeys it generates. I won't lie, the bot is kind of BS sometimes, but that's the fun of it, at least I hope it is. I mean, just for the record, the chances are stacked against you, so don't feel so bad for losing so often. While the bot is difficult, you can still do a lot with it. I mean, you can roleplay as your favorite characters from nearly all types of media, and it will know who you are talking about. In my opinion, the fun of this bot is pretending to be, let's say, Germa985 and throwing people into meat grinders, all while enduring the bot's sadistic nature. Now, after viewing this video, you can try this bot right now. Just join the Discord server linked below and start journeying right away. If you are one of the first 20 people who win, you will get an exclusive role that I will never give out again. So go get journeying. Just make sure you read the rules chats for instructions and limits with the bot before you play. And if you're not convinced yet, just look at this example, where I'm a 
gorilla named Sean trying to end world hunger, escaping and ending up in the jungle looking for food and reading children's books before being caught and sent back to the zoo. I mean, the possibilities with this bot are limitless. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and liking as it helps me out tremendously. It's been Froggish. See you guys later.